do you have any kind of nice or you know rewarding interactions that you've had with with people when you have it come in and help them out at, you know oh family, yeah things like I, that yeah we don't have enough time or or, or you know, video to, to be able to talk about those, but everywhere we go, um, you know, connectivity is one of those things that nobody misses until it's gone. Um, and it is not uncommon for, you know, when connectivity goes away to be gone for weeks at a time. So, you know, you pick the event, you know, when we are able to bring a temporary connection and Wi-Fi connection in, um, you know, that's when we get all the hugs and the thank yous and things like that. And, you know, we do some pretty neat things, you know, we, we, uh, whether it's bringing an air traffic control tower back online, which is kind of personally rewarding. And you think about the safety factor with that. We do a lot for public safety, you know, even down here, we're, you know, providing connectivity for the, you know, the, the security protection forces here. And, and a lot of these guys are, um, you know, deployed away from home for months at a time. And so, you know, just to be able to put that connect to, that connection in where they can keep in touch with family back home, uh, I, I could tell these stories all day long, but yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, there's there's definitely a rewarding, um, you know, piece to this, and that is, you know, the people will always tell you thank you. Okay, and why why is it that this particular you know effort and this this cause is so important to you? Why why is you know the the connectivity of you know entire strangers and you know people you've never met? Why why is that so important to you? Why is that something you care so much about and that you wanted to you know help these people out? Well, I, I think I've seen what happens when they're not connected. Um, you know, we see a lot of um, in the phases of disaster, right? So in the beginning, there's the kind of the shock and awe, and people are just kind of, you know, you know, running on adrenaline, uh, you know, just kind of an autonomous thing. But eventually, the reality sets in with those folks, and so when they're not able to connect, when they're not able to keep in touch with their loved ones, or um, and that goes both ways, right? So if you've got, you know, a loved one who's in an area where that's been hit by a disaster of sorts, you know, you sit home and worry about, you know, or I wonder if they're okay, wonder what that is. So I think for us, we realize that there's, you know, the human aspect of that, which is to keep them connected with their, you know, their loved ones. And that is to help keep the, you know, a, their morale up, um, but also kind of for the whole mental health of the community. If we can keep them connected, uh, then, you know, we'll certainly make their recovery a lot better. 